Has Antarctica served as a home base for extraterrestrial visitors to Earth for thousands of years? The Piri Reyes map is strong evidence of an advanced ancient civilization buried under the ice. And perhaps even aliens that still inhabit the frozen continent to this day. Ahmed Muhyiddin Piri, 1465-1553, also known as Piri Reis, was an Ottoman admiral, navigator, geographer and cartographer. He is primarily known today for his maps and charts collected in his book of navigation, a book that contains detailed information on early navigational techniques as well as relatively accurate charts for their time, describing the important ports and cities of the Mediterranean Sea. He gained fame as a cartographer when a small part of his world map, prepared in 1530, was discovered in 1929. His world map is the oldest known Turkish atlas showing the New World and one of the oldest maps of America still existing anywhere. In 1528, Piri Reis drew a second world map of which a small fragment showing Greenland and North America from Labrador and Newfoundland in the north to Florida, Cuba, Hispaniola, Jamaica and parts of Central America in the south still survives. According to his imprinting text, he had drawn his maps using about 20 foreign charts and map mundi, Arab, Spanish, Portuguese, Chinese, Indian and Greek including one by Christopher Columbus. He was executed in 1553 in Cairo, having been found guilty of lifting the siege of Hormuz Island and abandoning the fleet, even though his reason for doing so was the lack of maintenance of his ships. The Piri Reis map, which is a real artifact and not a forgery, was created in Constantinople in 1513. It concentrates on Africa's western coast, South America's eastern coast and Antarctica's northern coast. Because Antarctica was not found until 1818 AD, more than 300 years after the Piri Reis map was made, he could not have gotten his information on Antarctica's location from other explorers in those times. The ice-free coast of Queen Maud land depicted on the map is a huge mystery, since geological data indicates that it might have been surveyed and mapped in an ice-free state as recently as 4000 BC. It's impossible to say when such a task might have been completed, but the Queen Maud land literal appears to have stayed stable and unglaciated for at least 9000 years until being swallowed up altogether by the advancing ice cap. In the crucial time between 13,000 BC and 4000 BC, no civilization known to history had the capacity or necessity to survey that coastline. The fundamental mystery of this 1513 map is not so much its inclusion of a continent not found until 1818 as it is its depiction 
of a portion of the continent's coastline under ice-free conditions that ended 6,000 years ago and have not occurred since. According to some geologists, the last time areas of Antarctica were free of ice might have been between 17,000 and 12,000 years ago. Could the Piraeus map, as some have speculated, represent proof of a prehistoric maritime society capable of mapping the whole world, as Graham Hancock has suggested? Piri Reis explains in a series of notes written in his own hand on the map itself. He tells us that he was not responsible for the original surveying and the cartography. He copied the map from an ancient map, which was assumed to be from the great library of Alexandria. <laughs> 